Hi there, I'm Chef Eric Crowley, owner of the Culinary Classroom in West Los Angeles, and today I'm going to show you how to julienne a shallot. The shallot itself is like a very small onion. I've cut off the top of the shallot here and barely trimmed off the root and then peeled off the papery skin. Oftentimes with the shallot, when you do this, you'll have a little flat section that'll act like, uh, like a little stabilizer. So when you set the shallot down on your cutting board, it won't roll around. If you don't have that, then you can go ahead and cut the shallot in half. I have the root of the onion of the shallot pointing away from me. And uh, in order to make a julienne, I'm gonna actually cut the root away. And you can see between the root and the top of the uh, shallot, or where the top used to be, I've got all these uh, uh, lines. This is actually cell walls of the shallot, or like a grain, if you will. I'm gonna cut with those in order to make my julienne. First, I'm gonna take the root off middle ring and pinky finger around my knife, thumb and forefinger around the blade, trim the root off like that, and I can use that for something else. And uh, at this point, um, I'm just going to take my knife and start to make some parallel slices. I'm gonna lift the handle off of the cutting board and bring the knife completely off the cutting board, and I'm gonna push forward and down to cut, taking my opposite hand and lightly curling my fingers underneath to hold on to the shallot. and just make some nice, thin slices. The thinner I make my slices, the finer the julienne will become. As I start to get really narrow here, I can lay the shallot down on its cut side and then proceed to make some more cuts. Pick up a couple of pieces that did not get quite cut into a julienne. And with the root missing, you can see how the layers start to fall apart, like this. And that is how you julienne a shallot. Thanks again for watching. Be sure to subscribe so you can get some additional information. If there's a recipe that you would like to see me make, feel free to send an email to requests at mahalo.com. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.